It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will last. Today is the memorial of St. Matthias, Apostle of our church, and it's also today is the first day in the beginning of our novena to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. With great praise to God, let us all together say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us, through his intercession, that recognizing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Peter stood up in the middle of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David, concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us, and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, became with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apolistic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, so enter into his glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen. Amen. I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. As part of our Lord Jesus Christ's farewell discourse, he would also try to tell his disciples the prefigurement of what it will look like when he already ascends into heaven. And as Jesus would describe the future church this way, as he said, as a woman in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. Truly, the church is our mother. The church is the one that ushers us towards our salvation. We all together now take that journey. The Lord Jesus Christ himself left to his apostles and now being handed on to us. We are on a pilgrimage as a church. We are facing our own pains, challenges, and struggles as well within our faith. Aside from the different issues and challenges also in the world that we face, at the same time, we are also confronted about our faith based on these different challenges. Jesus is very much aware of all these things that we are going to face even up to this present time. But the Lord has been at peace in his heart because he has inculcated and planted the seeds of faith within us. He will send us also the power of the Holy Spirit, and it is the one that will inspire and enlighten us to face all these challenges. That is why the gift of the Spirit of God is for us to find within our own lives. In the same manner, Jesus, even in his physical presence with his disciples, everything is not a dull out thing. Jesus would always tell them, everything will unfold to you when you have faith. Same thing too with us, friends. Together in this prayerful journey, together as a church, and as we always make the presence of Christ live among us, it is truly a moment for us to seek and have that grace within us that we may be able to obtain the virtues, the disposition, and the inspiration coming from our Lord. And there we could also say the same as the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though that we are not able to see him, his life, his love, his presence still live among us. While we hope and await the happiness of heaven, let us pray for the strength to live well a life of faith. That we, as the people of God, may embrace the cross of Christ 
and be a living message of hope to people who care we are entrusted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who are discouraged may experience the joy of God's sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who suffer may be strengthened and may be able to bear their pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those through our caring ways, the sick, may find spiritual strength and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Nicola Vucetti, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. In a special way, we pray also for Deborah Wright Federico as she celebrates her birthday today. We pray for her personal intentions and her thanksgiving for the gift of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, sustain us in our trials by the example of your Son. Help us to the grace of your Spirit to endure the sufferings of this life with joy, knowing the happiness that awaits us in heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, and for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so the angels, archangels, the thrones, and the dominions, and all the hosts and the powers of heaven will sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My dear friends, we offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
the blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. God bless you always. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. I should go to the sick and the taking the Holy Day Sacrament. We have celebrated, but also the Word of God, which you have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community, as for the prayers of those whom you have to visit and return. Go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. <clears throat> Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and to the blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the first day of our novena to the Holy Spirit. Let us all kneel.
Novena to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, and guide us throughout the Diocese of Richmond as we embark in our third century in your service. We humbly ask you to strengthen our trust in you and our eagerness to share the gospel message with others. In kindling us a keen desire to grow in our relationship with you to encounter you in your sacraments. Through the intercession of Mary, the star of the new evangelization, and St. Vincent de Paul, we may experience a new Pentecost and a profound renewal of faith in our diocese, our parishes, our families, and our hearts. Amen. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, whether the same Spirit we may be truly wise and never rejoice in his consolation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do today? Give me eyes that can see, ears that can hear, and a heart that can love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will put my spirit in you that you may come to life, and I will settle you in your land then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken. I will do it. Amen. Please stand. To complete our Novena Mass, we shall have um, daily Mass this Monday. Um, what day is that? May 17th, so we're going to have daily Mass the same time, 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered. We're going to go in the peace and love of Christ.